Right, here we are. This is the door out onto deck. I'll do a quick tour of the boat. Obviously this is the front end of the boat. The anchor cables go down there. Have lots of problems with these anchors. Lots of problems. That is where I live. I live down there under that cover in a hovel which is freezing cold. Anyway, you hear the engines going. That's the loud one. That's the one that uses quite a lot of petrol. Actually, actually diesel. But anyway, so this is the, uh, what they call the nudget, or the new jar, whatever it's called. This is the winch. I'll get a picture of that later on when I turn around. There you go, that's the winch with the tow cable. That attaches to a bridle which attaches to the barge. And there is the barge with the digger. You can see it's a long, it's a long way ashore, but it uh, looks like it's going to be a glorious day. Anyway, this is a. Uh, I'll come round to where I've got to get off. I have to climb up there. And there's my bag of goodies to take on my little job. There you go, back inside. Right, I'm off the boat and I'm going to my little job in a shed. I'll, uh, anyway, I had to walk along this bit of uh, walkway and around the, there and I've got to climb up the steps and down the gangway. It uh, must be high or low tide. It looks like it's going to be an easy walk down the gangplank. So we'll see See how this goes. I'll put the camera away because I've got used to it. I just walked around the building. And there, this is got to go in this shed. This little group of boats is nothing to do with us. This is another company, uh, but they're using the, the company's land, obviously paying for it in a, in a fee, I would imagine. 
But anyway, it looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? This weather couldn't be better for filming. That's the barge that you've seen videos of. Oh, there's a cormorant down there. I don't know if you'll catch it or not with the GoPro. It's just dived. There looks like an RFA ship in Falmouth. Anyway, I'm going to go back. You're going off to my little project. Yeah, it's very peaceful here, isn't it? I think it's the 28th today, I'm not sure. Oh, it's a Tuesday. <clears throat> anyway, in I go. Luckily, I didn't get any water down my neck. Well, the lighting looks a lot brighter on the camera screen than it does in my eyes. So, oh, here we are. I have to work on this engine. I've got to disconnect that lube oil filter from the side of the engine. I've got to disconnect the, the lube oil drain from the casing. And I have a few wires on the other side to disconnect. And then somehow I've got to lift it out of the frame, rotate it through 180 degrees and take the sump off. Now, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I should have bought some cable ties to sort out all the wiring to tie that up so it doesn't get caught on anything. Uh, anyway, it's bloody freezing in here. There's no heating and the camera makes it look a lot lighter. But I can tell you now, it's dark. I've got my torch, so that will brighten things up. Yeah, so the camera I've used today is the GoPro Hero 9 with the lens mod on it in a 360 mode, which means that I can turn the camera through a 360 degree circle and it will keep the image upright, which will be ideal on the mountain bike. Not that I get to do much mountain biking these days anyway what with work commitments anyway well I better turn, turn you off and uh, get to work uh, yeah yesterday my hands got so cold they started to go numb and I couldn't feel what I was doing. So I went, there, there is a toilet open, so I ran the hot tap until, until it got warm and warmed my hands up. Uh, 
Yeah, last thing you want to do is have cold hands and climb up pilot ladder in case your hands slip. Anyway, I rattled on. Right, off to work. Here we go. This is what I've got to work in. It's uh, completely dark. There is a skylight up there, but it's not very bright. I've got my little torch. Gives me a bit, of, a bit more light to work in. Over there's the door, which is left wide open 24 seven. So it's freezing in here. I can see my breath. But yeah, with the, with the torch, it helps. Anyway, I'm almost ready to lift it out. I've got to get a 10 mil spanner, some cable ties, and then I've got three bolts in which to just slacken off, ready to lift. Anyway.